Hello, did you know that you can manage the battery usage on Motorola Edge 50 Pro and therefore you can also improve the battery lifespan by checking some settings. So I want to show you the battery settings that we can find in the settings. So let's go there. Now, if we scroll down to battery and go there, we can find several interesting options that might be helpful for you to keep the battery intact for a little bit longer. So the first thing that we can do is, of course, the battery saver, which is a pretty standard option and feature that is available on most, if not every single uh, smartphone right now. You can enable and disable this feature over here. And of course, you can also set up the schedule and decide when you want it to turn off over here. Now, we can also go to adaptive battery option where it limits, this feature limits battery for apps that you don't use often. So whenever we use apps um, that we use only from time to time, uh, we can enable this feature just for those apps. We can also enable, for instance, the charge boost that is used in order to uh, optimize charging by safely boosting charging speed. However, keep in mind that if you enable this option, then your Motorola may heat up uh, during this process. Now, if you go back, we also have something interesting that is called Improved Battery While Inactive. And what this does is it uses AI to learn your behavior and limit background apps when your phone is inactive. So I think it is quite a good idea to keep this option on. We also have Optimized Charging where we can enable the optimized charging, uh, which, uh, which makes charge more which makes the smartphone being charged more efficiently to keep the battery healthy. So if you want to, uh, like it is stated, keep the battery healthy, we can enable this option. Over here, we will see the information about the uh, learning of our pattern. And over time, the device will learn the, um, the typical charging pattern. Uh, it may, of course, take several days for the device to optimize um, the charging, but after some days, it should be um, good to go. We can also read a little bit more over here at the bottom. Another thing is the overcharge protection. So whenever we uh, charge um, for three days continuously, then we can enable this protection in order to keep the battery level um, at 80%, um, limit the charge, the charging to 80% to until the device is unplugged, which also helps you keep the battery in a healthy condition. You can also see the button, see how it works in order to uh, learn a little bit more about this, uh, this feature. Another thing is of course, uh, the power sharing, which it doesn't really have to be enabled all the time. So if you don't want to let other devices to be charged with your Motorola, then you don't really have to turn this on and you can keep this off. So that's about it. You can go through these settings one by one if you want to, to learn a little bit more about them. And by doing so, you will definitely learn how to optimize the battery, uh, how to keep it in the healthy condition and have it uh, stay uh, longer and use it for longer than usual and that's pretty much it thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos bye